All right, everyone, how's it going? This is Martin, and welcome to the Long Dark. We're in Jeremiah's hut, and we have to continue the survivor school, and it will be the final lesson. So let's have a wee word with Jeremiah. Let's go to Story, Survival Lessons, and let's see. We did the fishing, I did the hunting, so now we have to do the clothing part. Do I need to know about clothing? It's damn cold out here, right? What you wear might make the difference between life and death. Fair enough. I'm listening. Wind and wet will kill you if you let it. Wear wind blocking clothes on your outside layers if you can and use natural shelter whenever possible. Wind will drop your core temperature quickly and before you know it, you will have hypothermia or roars. What about wetness? That's once obvious. You get wet from snowfall, falling through ice, I knew that was possible. I knew it. Whatever. In these winters, you'll get frostbite in no time. Wear waterproof clothing if you can, especially on your feet. If your clothing gets wet, dry them out by fire. That's it. Almost. Think about carrying weight. The heavier your clothing, the less food and other supplies you can carry without getting tired. And remember, you want some tough layers to protect you from falls and animals, especially these days. It all makes sense. Great. Remember though, it's not enough to have good gear if you don't take care of it. Neither on third are your best friends. Keep your clothing in good shape and, and it'll take care of you. Sacrifice sh any shitty gear you'll find to keep your better gear in good action. Alright, got it. Good, now prove it. Take this old park of mine. There's an old hideout tower just near the railway. You'll usually some foresty service gear in there. Use the supplies to repair my old parka. I'm telling you, I understand taking care about my gear. The only way to know it is to do it, Mackenzie. Now get out there. Alright, yes. Alright, I'll be back with your damn goat. <laughs> Right, that's the spirit. Right, let's do it. I should be fine on drink and everything. I have a cup of coffee. It's cold. Let's see if it wants to work. For the fatigue. Alright, well, that's good. I'm not warmed, but that's fine. I'm like completely out of food here. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, oh, I can. Can I take that? Hmm, interesting actually. Alright, what I want to leave is my gun. This knife, I don't need this. Leave all the bullets. Just reduce some weight. Oh? What did I do? Hang on. Wait, never mind. Somehow the clicks are not working. Yeah, that sometimes happens with this UI. It's a bit weird. There we go. It works. All right. Did I drop anything in here that I didn't want to drop? Uh, sewing kit. Probably find one for this mission. But all right, we're twenty-four seventy-four. Great. Let's get going. So where we need to go is let's look on the map here it is all right we have to look at and we have this forest stalkers supply cache i'm going to guess we have to take that pick that one up first so i'm going to go to the camp office get some extra food there because i don't want to drag all these kilograms of meat with me that's a bit heavy i think it's still early so let's run a little bit and let's see what we can do about fixing this old parker and progress with the story. Because I bet we have to hunt that bear. It has to be. Jeremiah said he and myself will not survive if we won't kill that bear. So we're going to guess this is all sort of a preparation. Don't think it's even a side quest that really... It's part of it, I think. But, uh, no, we'll see. Right, let's run downhill much faster and then preserve a little bit of energy. 
Um, yeah, let's keep on going diagonal here. Let's first find the railway. That would be nice. Auto walk. I really would love to see that in this game. That would be um, very, very nice. I tried to rebind it, but I didn't succeed. Or I do something wrong, or it's not possible. I don't know. I think uh, behind here is the railway. So far, no wolves. I like it. Oh no, there's no railway here. No, Martin, you're very wrong. This is the place where I hunted that deer. Okay, so we have to go that way. Well, that's fine. So if you look on the map, this was the... So I'm here, the unnamed pond. Right, I can cross here. Well, that might actually be pretty decent. Alright, let's check it out. Is that... Could that be a wolf? I'm not sure. There was a wolf last time here. In the previous episode, he caught that second deer. I failed to shoot. Some old man's beard. Which I could use, but maybe on the way back, if there's any time. Or if it's very convenient in front of my face. Um, we can trade this with Jeremiah for trust. So that will be pretty good. I think um, it's a little bit hard to walk here. Maybe steep or is the wind in my face? I can't really say for sure. Alright. So we gain a little bit of energy and just keep walking normal. So this is where that deer, I guess it should be here, still, with some meat on it, actually. But um, I shouldn't stay out too long, I have a little by the thermometer, a little arrow pointing downwards. So skinning anything right now is not the best of ideas. Alright then, oh shit, oh shit, 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 hang on, let's see if a frozen creek I'm at Frozen Creek. Alright. Let's see if I can bypass this wolf. I don't think so. Alright, let's fight. I might be able... No, there's a lot of wind. I'm going to fight him. Screw it. Bring it on, buddy. Damn. Alright. Let me fix myself. Uh, bandage. He is going to die. <gasps> Alright, and antiseptic. Maybe a painkiller? Alright, how are we doing? Um, oh yeah. Hope that will do. That will do. Ah, we're good. There we go. I need to use these resources anyway. I wanted to have a look on the map to get a feeling for where I am. So, Frozen Creek. Yeah, I, if I continue here, I'm going to guess and we're pretty much good to go. I think we're on the right track. Oh, the wind is relentless. So it seems, or the snow is very deep, but that doesn't really show in your footprints. Alright. And I haven't seen the tower yet as well. So where am I? Do I need to go up here a little bit? Guessing. We went through here on this pond and now I'm I should be here about I guess I think it has this big rock besides me let's continue a little bit further here this looks like 
maybe kind of a road or maybe it's just an open part a clearing let's see what's down here I think there was some lumber ongoing but not much more so let's check on this other side of the hill still early morning but I'm getting tired and getting cold as well I wouldn't mind finding some th something to do oh hang on oh look I can see houses here alright let's go there first it's not on the map so I'm going to guess we're going to discover something here we have a deer, but that's okay, we don't need it. Oh, this is looks like a logging camp. Let's pick up some wood. Hopefully, we can make a quick fire. And let's see. I'm not so tired, I'm just getting cold here. So, oops, sorry. What I think I would do, if I can, I'll make a cup of coffee. Right. A little bit of juice in here. Let's check out these cabins first. They have no chimney though. Hmm. What's well, not too dark, but Oh Dude. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. More nothing. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's a lot of wind. Okay. So I have to find a key. See what we find. Can I use some food? I think I can use this. Okay, okay, okay. Pork and beans, that's food. So we get the cloth. Alright. Nothing. Should I take this wood? I think I should. And we have some clothing. Cargo pants I don't really need. Working boots, don't think I need them either. How's my carry weight? It is not too bad. Maybe I need leather to fix this parka. Let's take the boots. Alright. There's nothing else. It's this. Alright. Alright, so we checked all of the caravans oh there's we can make a fire in here if you want to I think I want to keep going let's see on the map did we get a location for this yes we did logging camp all right so I think this is like a big stone where we have to look for the supply cache so let's give that a try and then we have to make our way up the mountain or hill And uh, go into um, the, uh, the lookout. But first let's try to see. Uh, so I have this very big rock at the right hand side. I think that was kind of shown on the map. Like this. I don't know. Let's see. I probably shouldn't run uphill though. Hang on. Is that a little bit of rock? No. Alright, so we know where we are now. Yeah, yeah, journal updated. Nice. Rifle cleaning kit, another one. MRE. Nice. 
Ooh. Ooh, nice. Okay. Right. Let's climb up. And see if we can find a path. Might have to drop some gear. And no, we're not. <laughs> and they take all the loot. Right, let's see. Trying to prevent it going down, if we can. Uh oh. oh don't break your neck. Alright. Ow. Shit. Oh, look, 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 there's... Alright. There's some man-made stuff over here. That's a good sign. Alright, maybe somewhere around here... Yeah! Look! There we go. Alright! I can just see, barely see, a tiny little piece of the lookout, so I think we're in the right direction here. Great. I think the winds or the weather is turning pretty bad. There's a lot of wind coming up. So might have to stay the night? I'm not sure. It's early still. Very early. It's still morning. Somehow I've probably been quite lucky. Right, awesome. Pretty high up now. The foresty lookout. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's do it. Let's see if someone is home. I bet there's no one, but... Alright, hello? What's that? Alright, that looks spooky. Oh, that was the tree. That looks really strange. Alright, let's wipe our feet. Whew. Okay. Now what? Loot. <laughs> Out of her shoes here anyway. Could end up being useful. Yeah. After pure. Nice. Some cloth. Wooden matches. Accelerant. That's good. Oh! A new whetstone? Dude, that's so good. Beef jerky? Book. More books. Oh, an eligible note. The text on this note is largely unreadable. If the message was meant for someone, hopefully they were able to decipher it. Fortunately, there are a handful of recognable, recognizable landmarks. And a bold arrow pointing to a large X. Ooh. Loot. Nice. Alright. Pork and beans. Firewood. Nice. More firewood. Uh, I think actually we're going to make a fire over here. And then do the parka. That's um let's see seventy percent chance of yeah. Alright, nice. Uh, that's this is burning for an hour, this should be good. I do want to get rid of this though. This is very heavy, so let's add that to the fuel. And this as well. It's too heavy. Alright. What we can do is before I get going with the quest, let's prepare coffee for our way back. So we are warm and we reduce fatigue. I like that. Then we need food. New pork and beans even. Ooh. I was thinking of all the meat that is at Jeremiah's place and I was like in the beginning of the video can I take this and you should be able to take it because it was getting the meat for me and Jeremiah 
So I'm going to assume. I'll, I'll keep that one. Alright, let's eat first. Oh, that's nice. Alright, I will drink afterwards. First, let's go to the backpack. And somewhere in here... Um, we're wearing this, 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 this. What's this? Worn jeans? There we go. Jeremiah's bearskin coat. A bearskin coat that needs... Alright, actions. Oh, a cured black bear. I have one! I do have one! Alright, so I can't fix it here. I have to go back to Jeremiah's house. It's drying over there. I'm just overburdened, overburdened as well. Hang on. If I harvest this, will that take me... Yes. Alright, I think we have to head back. Is the radio working? Probably not. No. Alright, we leave the fire on, of course. Great. Before the wind and the weather turns really, really bad. Alright, there. Okay, so we have to go that away. The camp is over there. But we're not hiding there. I want to go straight to Jeremiah if I can. So let's try to do that. Let's first find the entrance of this path as well, because I went to this path a little bit unconventional. <laughs> At least it feels like that. Oh! Oh, there's another tower over there. Alright, I'm gonna focus on the quest though. Um, I can always visit that later. Yeah. Let's first get down here in one piece. Alright, this goes nice and fast. Great. So, here is the entrance, basically, I'm going to guess. Well, not here. There's the railway. Did I not have my cup of coffee? There you go, now stop yawning. <laughs> That was a good sign that I forgot there. Alright. Oh, so we have... Oh, okay. We're at the derailment over here. So, should I have gone up here normally? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, that doesn't look good to go down. Alright, so Jeremiah's house is pretty easy to find from this point on. If I don't break... My ooh, ankle. Right, let's run a little bit straight and then we go diagonal to the right and straight to Jeremiah's house. And actually, what I'm thinking to do is uh, I will just do a cut edit here and I will see you uh, at when I approach Jeremiah's house. Yes, that sounds like, an, like a good plan. All right, everyone. We're almost there. Great. No hassle, no wolves, no nothing. No broken legs or spring dangles. All is good. We have a little bit of stamina left to do the final run to the house. And maybe we get a cutscene. I'm, I'm not even sure. Let's find out. No cutscene. Alright. How's my fresh black bear skin? 19% cured. It takes five days. So let's talk to Jeremiah first. Alright. Story. Survival lessons. Do I have to do clothing again? Survival looks. Takes focus. We will need to continue when you're done with your lesson. Alright, alright, alright. So that I can only do when the skin is done so i'll make sure that is going to happen and then we're going to continue in the next episode for now thank you so much for watching have a really great day 
and I will see you in the next video. Bye.